Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. This channel is recommended for adult fans of LEGO and teen fans of LEGO. If you are younger than the age of 13, you're welcome to watch, but first, get your parents' permission. Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at LEGO Super Heroes set number 76077. This is Iron Man Detroit Steel Strikes. This set consists of 377 pieces, including three minifigures. This set has been in the backlog for a little while, but it looks pretty cool to me, so let's go ahead and open it, build it, and see what we think. So inside the box we had two instruction booklets and this little comic book, which is kind of fun. There are no words inside, all of it is just, uh, you know, wham, smash kind of things. Um, the story's a little weak, but, you know, it's kind of cool that they included a story behind the set. Um, so that is included along with the instruction books. Uh, the other interesting thing is the instruction booklets. The first one is for the uh, car build, and it's laid out in a landscape format. The other one is for the mech build, and it is more of a traditional book format, which I have not seen uh, that I can recall. Um, not terribly important, just thought it was kind of interesting. So, um, And for those of you interested, this is the sticker sheet. Uh, there were just a few decals for each uh, model, and uh, that is the sheet. So there you go. So here we have it. This is set 76077 Iron Man Detroit Steel Strikes. So as you can see, we have this mech, we have a vehicle, and we have Iron Man himself. Let's go ahead and take a look at each component one by one. So first up, and the reason I bought this set in the first place, was this car build. I really like this, um, just as a, a model. I think it looks really good. Um, it's a six stud wide build plus a little bit more for the wheels to come out. Um, as you can see, there's room for just one figure to sit inside, which is pretty typical. There is a, a console here that's a sticker with some gauges on it. And then we have a, I'm not sure why we have these. These levers maybe are supposed to uh, have something to do with the hidden functionality, which we'll go over in just a minute. We have the uh, steering wheel there. Not a terribly fancy interior, but it looks pretty good. Um, I like the shaping of the vehicle. It reminds me of an old uh, 60s era Corvette or something convertible. Uh, I really like the front end. Those uh, headlights look really nice. Um, and then this, actually, the Lola license plate, that is a printed piece. Uh, it's one of those curved uh, 1x4 pieces, um, and that's a print, which is really, really cool. Um, there are a few stickers on this. Uh, one was that uh, console there. The other um, is kind of hidden, but there's a transformative feature to this uh, in that it is theoretically converted into a hover car kind of a thing, whereas these are the repulsor lift kind of things. And if you look there in the wheel well, we have some stickers to represent some um, you know, electronics. So the way that is activated is you just turn these um, tan pieces in the back up and then the idea is that it's a floating hover car kind of thing um, which is fine in universe but I like it just as a car I think it's a really nice looking vehicle this windshield piece is the same one they use in the land speeders from the Star Wars line uh, we do have some working doors incidentally which is kind of nice. Uh, there's no hidden detail of, as far as engine or anything like that it's just a, a good looking kind of muscle car. And this is Justin Hammer's mech. Um, Justin Hammer is inside as you can see. Um, the mech is okay. I'm not a big fan of Lego mechs for the most part. Um, this one uses these giant ball joints for the shoulder and elbow joints as well as for hip and knee joints. Um, this is articulated at the knee which is nice. Looks like he's wearing high heels though, which is kind of goofy. Um, he's also articulated at the hip, so he's pretty poseable. Um, that much is good. Um, the detail on the legs, this right here is a sticker, and on this side we have a sticker. There's also this sticker on the chest plate, 
and there are stickers on the uh, arms with the stars on them. It almost, at first glance, looks like it could be a Captain America mech, um, but this is Justin Hammer, which is a, a nemesis of Iron Man in the comic books. Um, he has these weapons on the arms. This one is a saw blade, uh, which you can uh, kind of move this gear to make it spin. Um, he also has articulating fingers and thumbs, so he could potentially grasp something. Um, and then on this side, he has kind of this Gatling gun stud shooter. Uh, and I'm not going to do it, but if you turn the wheel at the back, um, it'll launch off all of those studs. So you can spin that around, and the studs will go shooting across the room, never to be found again. Up at the front, you can open up this little door to release the figure. Um, and there is a couple of studs down there for him to stand in. I just didn't plug it in so that I could pull him out easy enough. He has these kind of winglets on the back that uh, are somewhat poseable, but not as much as you might like. Um, and uh, yeah, kind of plain looking from the back. He has these kind of pseudo thrusters on the back of his thighs or uh, calves. Um, these are kind of interesting shoulder pauldrons. I think these are all kind of borrowed pieces from um, not Mixels, what am I thinking? The the old buildable figure things from way back when. Um, not pieces that I like working with very often, but um, the mech's okay if you're into mechs, and it's kind of nice to have um, something for the bad guy to operate in. So if you're a fan of Iron Man and are familiar with Justin Hammer, you can have something for him to to power up and fight against Iron Man. So the first figure we'll look at is Justin Hammer, since we already kind of talked about him. Um, he's got a nice, although kind of busy, print uh, from the torso down onto the waist and legs. No printing on the arms, but print continues around the back. He's got a nice helmet, which has a printed face mask on it. You can take the helmet off, and you can see his face with kind of a half smile and some glasses. And he does have an alternate face where he looks a bit perturbed. But overall, I think this is a pretty nice figure. Uh, not very common, and uh, it's kind of nice to be able to get him in a set like this. In addition to the helmet, they've given Justin Hammer a hairpiece as well, which is very nice. Nice to have that option. Next up is Agent Coulson. As you can see, he's got some sunglasses on. It's a nice print there with that kind of reflective shine on those. The torso print is nice with the jacket tie and name badge. He has kind of an agent's pistol and a little bit of print on the back and he also has an alternate face where he's taken his glasses off and now he has a communications headset on. So nicely done there. And finally we have Tony Stark or Iron Man. He includes a couple of the uh, blast things that you can kind of pinch and they shoot across Kind of a weaponized kind of a thing. Uh, he's got a nice print all the way around on the torso, including down on the legs. Uh, decent helmet print, and if we take that off, you see Tony Stark's face, and he does have an alternate too where he's looking a little bit perturbed. And just like the uh, Justin Hammer figure, they've included a hairpiece as well, which is very nice. You can have him with or without helmet, and uh, he still looks complete. So. Very nicely done there. They've also included a couple of trans blue cylinders to uh, look like the thrust coming out from the uh, kind of jet boots that he wears, which is another nice detail. So this set originally retailed for $30 here in the US, which for a piece count of 377 and three minifigures is really pretty good. Um, the two builds are respectable. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of mechs in general, but the build is okay, and I really like this car, as I mentioned before. So for $30, this was a pretty good value. Uh, I'm not sure... This set came out in 2017, so I'm not sure if it's still available um, at a decent price or not, but you might check uh, eBay, Amazon, or Bricklink if you're interested in this set. Um, again, in my mind, that car is the reason to get the set, but uh, the figures are good as well. Um, Justin Hammer, Iron Man, and Agent Colton. But uh, 
anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.